A 16-year-old who was just coming home from where he worked after school hours is gunned down on the West Oak Lane sidewalk. As police search for the killers and gun violence soars, the teenager's high school principal says he was a quiet, well-liked young man. Greg Argos reports. Flashing lights, spent shell casings, and homicide detectives. Playing like a record on repeat, Philadelphia's sad number one hit. Another life lost. There's nothing easy about bullets and they have no names. This neighbor is right. Bullets don't, but the people they kill do. He'd been here since first grade. He is 16-year-old Mackay Partlow, who was an 11th grader at the Mathematics, Civics, and Sciences Charter School, MCSCS, in Philadelphia. Very good student, very quiet, very mannerable. Veronica Joyner is the founder and principal at a school. His teachers had very positive things to say about him, that he was very respectful. Thursday morning, minutes after midnight, Philly police rushing to the 7100 block of North 19th Street on West Oak Lane. Partlow found on the side of the road dead from a single bullet wound to the head. He was still wearing his Burger King uniform, apparently having just left work. Police say they're looking for three or four suspects, all men, who may have been driving this stolen SUV before ditching it near the scene. Today, we find that you don't have to have a reason. Um, they randomly select people walking the streets at night. This is not the first time the MCSCS community has dealt with tragic shooting deaths of fellow students. And there's been three in two years, and all great students, and just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. We need to put more emphasis on our youth and teaching them to care. We assume they know how to care, but they don't. And many times the families don't give them the care and love. So, and they don't give it back. Joyner says the charter school has grief counselors available to meet with students virtually, of course. As for the investigation, police not yet making any arrests. They're still looking for those three to four men who may have been involved with this deadly shooting. Reporting here in the Spring Garden section of Philadelphia, I'm Greg Argos, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.